Hey guys, welcome back to the layer mask tutorial series. In the first part, we took a close look at layers in Unity. In this video, we talk about layer masks, how they are built up and what they are used for. We also learn something about bit operations, which are necessary when working with layer masks. You'll learn the use of bit shifting and the bitwise OR operator. Let's jump in! The principle of layer masks. In the last video, you learned that there is only a limited amount of different layers in Unity. Let's say that we can define 8 different layers. Now you can imagine a layer mask as a barrier. For some layers the barrier is opened and for the others it's closed. When Unity casts a ray, it checks the layers of the objects in the scene against the mask and separates the objects into two distinct sets the ones which are considered by the raycast and the others which are ignored. When we assign 1 to the opened and 0 to the closed doors, again we end up with a binary number that looks very similar to the numbers discussed in the first part of this tutorial series. We learned that layers are represented by numbers and so are layer masks. A 1 at a specific position marks the layer as included a zero denotes that the layer is excluded. So for example, if you want your raycast to consider layers 2 and 3, you have to generate a binary number which contains 1 bits at the respective positions. Generating layer masks. Let's see how you can generate those ominous layer mask numbers. That's pretty easy, because Unity already provides a helper function for that. LayerMask.getMask. You simply type in the layer names which should be included and the function returns the according layer mask. Sadly, for more complex situations, Unity doesn't provide any other useful functions. That's why we must look at the creation of layer masks more closely. Remember, when you ask for the layer of a specific object, the index of the layer is returned. For example, in the Tags and Layer Inspector, the UI layer is at position 5. The layer mask, which includes the UI layer, must have a 1 bit at position 5. Within your script, when you assess the UI layer, 5 is returned. When you convert 5 into a binary number, you can see that the number looks completely different to the required layer mask number. The layer itself doesn't represent its related layer mask. Keep that in mind. So how do you get the 1 bit to the correct position? The so called left shift operator is your friend. The left shift operator simply takes all bits and moves them one position to the left. Since there is only a finite amount of positions, the last bit is dropped. At the very beginning another spot became available. It is filled with a 0 bit. And that's the magic. To get the layer mask including layer 5. Start with 1 and shift it 5 times to the left. In your script it looks like the following. Type in var layer mask equals 1 shifted by 5. Now you generated a layer mask which includes layer 5 and blocks the others. Then you can pass the layer mask to a raycast for instance. Combining layer masks. Yet we only created a layer mask including one single layer. But what if we want to consider layer 5 and layer 4 in one single mask? This is achieved by generating two layer masks. One including layer 5 and another including layer 4. And by merging them together. Merging two binary numbers can be achieved with the bitwise OR operator. The OR operator is written as a single pipe and operates on single bits. On the left side you have the first bit and on the right side is the second bit, the input bits. As a result you get another bit, the result bit. Congratulations! You just merged two bits together. Important to know is the way 
the OR operator merges the bits. If any of both input bits is 1, the result bit is also 1. So 1 or 1 is 1, 1 or 0 is 1, 0 or 1 is 1, and only 0 or 0 results in 0. Let's go back to our two layer masks for layer 4 and layer 5. When we apply the OR operator, the single bits are merged pairwise and the resulting number is a layer mask that includes layer 4 and layer 5. Now when we combine our gained knowledge, the script looks like that. var layer mask equals 1 shifted by 4 or 1 shifted by 5. Easy, right? Of course, with the OR operator you can also combine two layer masks which contain multiple layers each. The result is a layer mask including the layers of both masks. Thank you very much for watching. Those are the basics of layer masks. Now you should know how to use the left shift and the OR operator in order to generate any layer mask you will need. Next time I'm showing you other use cases and bit operators, so stay tuned! If you liked it, then please support us on Patreon and join our weekly newsletter. I want to say thank you to all our patrons. A very special thanks to Eric and a special thanks to Simon Zineder, David Hensel, Melina Brunner, Robert Hartl, Erich Gangl, Reinhard Bauer and Theresa. It would be kind to give us a like and to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day. It's your sensei.